stay tuned for my recommendation for the best camera backpack in 2021. And it's under 150 bucks. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi, and welcome to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As usual, I've got a bonus filmmaking tip at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. All right, let's talk camera backpacks. First of all, I should say that I love this subject, so let's get that out of the way. I'm a bit of a bag obsessive, not only when it comes to my camera equipment, but in general. I obsess over finding the perfect bag, and anyone that's subpar has no place in my closet. And honestly, I think most photographers would agree. The reason is a good camera backpack can mean the difference between leaving your camera at home or bringing it with you and getting that great shot. Ultimately, having your camera with you means getting better content. So let's talk about my criteria. I need something that's comfortable, holds all my camera and personal stuff, and is organized in a way that things are accessible as I need them. And for reference, I usually carry a Canon EOS R6 mirrorless camera with a 24 to 70 lens or 16 to 35 lens attached, small tripod, batteries, and cards. Also, I usually have items like my phone, wallet, keys, windbreaker, hat, sunglasses, snacks for my daughter, water bottle, and a little umbrella in case it rains. And if it's for the weekend, I'll throw my laptop and charger in there too. So that's how I use it. I don't really put clothes in there. It just needs to hold my camera gear and personal stuff. So as you know, everyone's perfect bag is gonna be different, but hopefully hearing about mine and how I use it will be helpful when it comes time to pick yours. So this is it, the Loa Pro Flipside 400, and it retails for around 129 bucks. And these are the five reasons why I think the Loa Pro Flipside 400 is the perfect camera backpack. Number one, size. Lobo Pro makes a few sizes of the flip side model. There's the 200, 300, 400, and 500. I have the 400, which is right in the middle. It's discreet, not too big, not too small, and it doesn't look like you're carrying all your belongings on your back. It also fits into an airplane's overhead compartment and even under an airplane seat in most cases. And the Flipside 400 will hold your camera, lens, additional lenses, and a drone if you choose. And in my case, I can even fit my little Sarui travel tripod in there on one side, which is exactly what I do. So the size is perfect. Number two, comfort. Okay, so this is where I get really picky because if a bag looks really cool, but it's uncomfortable, it's a big no for me. The flip side is super comfortable. Relevant to this discussion is the fact that the Loa Pro Company was started by two brothers, the Low Brothers, who were really into climbing, skiing, and photography. So their bags are designed for the active photographer. And many of their bags feel like quality hiking backpacks in many ways. And I love that. I should also mention that it's not always easy for women to get a quality backpack that works with our frame. We tend to have a smaller frame and larger hip bones. And a lot of the time, camera backpacks are designed with men in mind and they sit lower on the hips than they should. But the Loa Pro 400 sits comfortably on my frame and it falls on my hips where it's comfortable for me. Truthfully, I can pretty much hike all day with it on my back and I barely notice it. The shoulder straps have ample padding. And I love the super padded adjustable waist strap here, as well as the little extra adjustable connecting strap in the front. This little strap seems like a small thing, but when you have the extra attachment in the front, it really stabilizes the whole bag and makes it feel a lot lighter. So if comfort is at the top of your list of priorities, the Loa Pro Flipside is a great choice for you. Number three, the Loa Pro Flipside 400 has a smart design. Before we get into it, I should mention that the flip side was supposedly designed so that you can take the straps off your shoulders and keep it on your waist and access the camera that way. But I don't use it this way, nor would I suggest it, to be honest. Maybe people are fine doing this, but it really doesn't feel like it would be stable enough for me. That being said, everything else about the design is appealing to me. It really feels like it was designed by a photographer because everything is exactly where you'd want it. For example, this easy access little SD card pocket here. I like where the laptop compartment is. I like the outer pocket, which is big enough for my personal items. And there's a pocket for my wallet so it doesn't sink to the bottom. It's got the easily accessible side pockets, one for water bottle and one for phone. And I love that you can attach your tripod to the back of the pack if you want.
I don't like the camera bags that have the tripod pocket on the side because I like to keep those side pockets open for easy access to a water bottle and my phone. And if you don't have your tripod with you, you can hide the loop away. And of course, like most camera bags, the inside is easily customizable. You can configure it in any way that works for you. The camera usually goes up at the top, but you can remove this little top pack here if you need the extra space. I like to use the extra dividers to secure my items from the top, like the tripod that I keep inside for example, so there's no chance of it moving around. All in all, it holds everything securely and I've never had a problem with things moving around or dividers coming undone. And another thing that has saved my butt on more than one occasion is this great little hideaway rain cover in the bottom. Pull it out quickly to protect your gear when you're caught in a downpour. Ah, lovely. Number four, it looks like a normal backpack. Some camera bags scream expensive gear here on this person's back and um, I'm not really into that. In fact, I just want a normal looking black backpack that blends in and doesn't advertise the fact that my life savings is on my back. You know, that's all I have to say about that. And lastly, number five, the low pro flip side is sturdy and well made. This is a very firm bag and it's not at all flimsy. The sides and dividers are firm, the top handle is beefy. All in all, it's got the kind of support I want in a bag. And although I wouldn't recommend sitting on it with all your gear in there, you probably could. So if sturdy and well-made is your thing, the Loa Pro Flipside 400 is your thing as well. All right, so that's my list of reasons this Loa Pro Flipside is my favorite camera backpack. Size, comfort, smart design, looks like a normal backpack, and sturdy and well-made. One other thing I didn't mention is that this particular backpack came out a few years ago, so you can get the flip sides cheaper than some of their newer models. All right, my friends, let's do the tip. Proper hydration is important. And for those of you like me who always have a water bottle on hand, you know that the side pocket of your backpack is the perfect easy access place to keep it. However, if your bag is overstuffed, that little mesh pocket can get a little tight. Or the mesh maybe doesn't go up high enough and the water bottle is top heavy and your arm knocks it out all the time. To correct this problem, I use a flat Nalgene water flask in there instead of the traditional water bottle. And voila, it's a perfect fit and there's no knocking it out during the day. Who knew a flask could be a photographer's best friend? You don't have to answer that. Alrighty, hopefully you found some of this helpful. As always, I'll leave a link to the camera bag and the Nalgene flask in the description. And before you go, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.